Hello, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I've got an 18 by 24 inch canvas and an AXA omelette turning flip and fold spatula. And I'm going to use some of the paint that I have left that's Vivid Intense Titanium White. I'm a color art affiliate, so you can find a promo code underneath the video if you're looking for it. I just did a painting where I took the top off and I think that was a much better idea than the would have just there we go. That'll make life so much easier. So I'm just gonna spread that white in a sort of a random pattern looking for things to take out. And then I'm gonna put colors that I like on the canvas without making much sense of them and hopefully make sense of them in time. So I'm going to go for some shiny taffeta, which is a prison pour. They're not making them anymore. They have some. If you're seeing this in a timely fashion and you want some, you might want to ask. This is, that was shiny taffeta. This is Tuscan Sun. I think I'm going to go for the orange crush. Ooh, and my pink carnation is next. The white makes a big difference. I'm going to add some black as well. try and turn my turntable. I didn't use any poinsettia in my last painting but I threatened to and then I still didn't do it so I've got some and I'm going to do it now. Hopefully. I'm being called to something weird. I'm going to add a little bit of Vivid Intense Alizarin Rose. And maybe some Dancing Fuchsia as well. Got a little squeeze bottle of white. I'm thinking about this oriental blue, which is a purely pigment. Oh, I didn't realize I had orange. I think I got lucky though. I'm getting kind of mud. I'm going to have to clean that off. But I'll utilize it until I have to. Alright, time to clean the spatula or get a new one. Being, I'm hearing a little bit of black. Let's see if I can get it to come out. There, I did. I just got a little bit of black. keep doing that. Maybe if I open it all the way. Not sure I can get away with the blue. Oh, that's that is blue flame. More oriental blue. Blue flame is a purely uh, excuse me, it's a primary element. I'm going to grab some midnight shadow also, which is a prism pour, which was open the last time I used it, not very long ago.
And I'm going to take a chance and use some of the Red Violet Vivid Intense. And I think I'm going to go for some white, some alizarin some rose. Still got color on my spatula though. I like that purple that just got added by accident. I'm going to go for a little bit of African Violet. And leave it on its side because it's evidently having a hard time coming out. And I can't leave it there. I am being called to some actual black. We'll see. You can always add more, but taking it away is sometimes the most fun of all. I haven't put much dancing fuchsia in here. I think it's time. Now maybe I can move that paint for a minute and grab one of my little tools. That's too wide. I'll grab the skinny one. Cold again. Oriental blue. Clean my brush off on my canvas. Not sure what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. I think I want more orange or yellow. I think it's the orange though. I could use some more yellow, you know. Tuscan Sun. There, I like that. I think I want a much wider tool. Seems like my canvas was primed, but I don't think it is. But the paint is moving off it very easily. Or Midnight Shadow. I 
a lot more. No, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just having fun with paint. I think I'm going to take some of this Midnight Shadow. I want red violet. I'm being called to some Royal Sapphire. It occurs to me I haven't used any Fandango. I've got beautiful colors on. Sometimes I start to worry that things aren't going well, and then I just remember I'm, I'm only here to play. And I do want to play. if I got I've got all kinds of stuff
line to do something weird, and I'm not sure it's going to work. I suppose I could just leave it alone and it might. I'm not sure where it's going to go from where it's at, though. But I'm not sure it really matters, either. Dancing fuchsia, pink carnation maybe, nah, dancing fuchsia. Any artist's prerogative to change their mind. I think I did pre-prime this canvas. I just realized it. I'm going to grab a little more blue flame. Oh, that's good. I like it so much, I think I'm going to use some over here. Then I have to clean some brushes off. I go again, putting my head under the camera. I think I need to see or something. This is not coming out very well. Probably should have stuck with the other one. But it's not too late to try it.
I got the plug out. I like the addition of little squares. Maybe little is the key phrase. I don't know if I can get any more paint off though. I don't want to go so far I can't come back from it. Maybe some black is the answer too. and our gold. have gone overboard. But it's never over till it's over. I might like it a lot when I'm done. It's hard to tell before then sometimes. So I'm wondering about this area over here. I don't think I ever used enough alizarin rose so I'm going to go for it. Take my yellow, get rid of it. Getting closer. It's taking too long. I always wanted the opportunity to just cover up some stuff, but there's no guarantee it's going to turn out the way I want to either. But I am inclined, so I'm going to go there. I don't like that yellow anymore. So if I take most of it away, should be a lot better for me. I like the way the colors look when they show through the background.
getting there. She said optimistically. Yep, I'm liking it. Especially since I can scrape color off. Let's see what's underneath. I just got a call to white. But I still got some black on my brush, so I'm going to use it first. I like that white up there. I need to clean my brush off. Well, I keep doing that. I'm so sorry. It's a large canvas and I'm trying to lean in. a lot of white. I haven't used any saffron and I want some and I'm very close to being done.
had to admit I was worried for a while and I, I definitely like it now. Thank you for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching longer. It speaks to the YouTube algorithm. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com if you'd like to inquire about taking a class with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, one-on-one, -on -one, or purchasing an artwork. Linktree, you'll find promo codes for color art products and pixel paint designs, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, a couple of my websites, my Amazon link, volumes one and volumes two of my books are on the Amazon link. Because I can, and unlimited possibilities, the first and the second hundred videos I made for YouTube. Quest questions are welcome and encouraged. My community board will show you tomorrow's video at around 2 p.m., hopefully. There's something else. Thank you. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to the members. Thank you to um, those of you who use PayPal to make a donation to keep me painting. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys endlessly, and you inspire me always. My paint pouring recipes below show more, and I have 34 playlists of 100 videos each, and everything's organized by topic and genre. <laughs> if you need anything, don't forget. Ask questions. It's fine. Thank you for being here. Bye for now. Priscilla out.